help support the channel. Um, yeah. We're always getting a new camera. It is ordered from Amazon. <laughs> so thank you for this. Thank you guys for the super chat for you know helping us out. So he's getting his new camera. It also helps pay for these writers and stuff. It keeps the lights on because he's a, check out the Nick of Time Show dot com and our blog. You know, help. You know, it's, it's cool because he's helping creators build their craft, get their stuff out there. It's helping the brand as well. So and yeah, helping to to keep that moving. So shout out to you guys who's, who's rocking with the Kill Three Shield, helping us build. All right. Super appreciate it. But um, yo, let's get to this news though, man. As okay. you as you know, um the Knicks were on the verge of filling out one of their roster spots. Um, it was it was reported that they was gonna sign um a big man from the G League a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Sign mm-hmm. me, right? It was mm-hmm. a done deal, it seemed like it was a done deal anyway, and all of a sudden at the, the 25th hour. <laughs> Yeah, an Ian bomb goes. Who, who, <laughs> a yep. bomb goes off, and it's reported that it's almost a done deal. Luca Vildoza, um, uh, is is being signed to the New York Knicks. Now he's a point guard from Argentina. Uh, he's in Europe, and he, he's up there in Europe, and he's playing very well. He plays very well. He shoots the three. Um, he's a, a nice catch and shoot guard. I think he shot sixty five percent from the field. Shout out to Spencer Perlman who did a nice video. So, on, on breakdown of him. I kind of want to play the video here, but I'm scared that I'm going to get like a strike on my on my YouTube channel for playing the video. Yeah, don't do, don't, don't <laughs> you know, they get rough, man. They get rough, man. Don't mess with them. You're right. <laughs> but um, but he's a three-level scorer. You know, he can shoot the mid-range. He can shoot the point. He can shoot the three. He can go in. Uh, he can take it to the hole. Um, also, he seems like he plays good defense as well. Um... And he looks like an, a, a guy, he, to me, he's like a, a fail-safe guy. That's what it seems like. He's, he seems like a fail-safe guy that um, the Knicks, you know, just in case stiff goes awry next summer, we have another guy who can shoot a three here and can, you know, also play pick and roll because he's also a pick and roll guard as well. Well, you know, he reminds me, he got a little bit of uh, Manu Ginobili in him. He did a little, 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 little That's little, a little. good comparison. <laughs> uh, Argentine cat that had a pretty good career here. He a little bit of mono in him, but um, I am reserving judgment until we see him in an NBA game. I want to see him at least in preseason. I think they got him for next year. Exactly. I think they he's not going to play this year. I mean, he's going to be on the team, but he's not going to play. But I think they got him for next year. I want to see what he can do with a year. He does. He, he reminds me an awful lot of Manu Ginobili, a smaller version maybe, but. Uh, and, and probably a more consistent jump shot, but um, very high IQ from what I saw. Very high IQ. Like you said, he plays both ends of the floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure about how how consistent. I'd have to say I got to see him because, you know, with Tom Thibodeau, you got to play that consistent. You can't just play some plays and take off some plays. So we haven't really seen. We don't know until we see him. So I want to see him come in the Knicks training camp. Let's see what happens when he goes in the preseason. Let's see what we got. You know, it didn't cost him too much. They just bought out his Argentine contract. So I don't know. How old is he, Jails? Do you know? Um, I don't, I'm not sure how old he is. I can find that out, though. Yeah, because if he's in his 20s, it's a pretty good investment. If he's an older cat, then forget it. But I, I think, he, you know, if he's in his 20s, I think we got something. We might have something to look at. It's interesting, though, that they were trying to get him here right away and try to just get that deal done. I'm, I'm kind of yeah. wondering what the... I think had him on the radar the whole time. Yeah, you're right. And he's six three though. I, you know me with the short guards. I don't no, like to have no, too many I'm short guards. Six three? Okay, mm-hmm. wait. Oh. Well, wait. So that's that's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> he's twenty five years old though, so he's he's approaching his prime right now. He's gonna be twenty six in August. You're right. He's gonna be twenty six in August. Twenty five years old. So he's approaching his prime. He's a little year, about a year away from his prime. Um, you know, we'll see. Like I said, I don't want to make any predictions, yay or nay. He does look a lot like, like somebody says, he's a combination of Manu Ginobili a little bit. I like that comparison. The like the- he's got a little bit of, uh, somebody made a good comparison in the chat. What was it? It was Manu and somebody else. Somebody meant Prigioni. Yes. Prigi. That's a good comparison. Like they got they're kind of like crafty. Yeah. Crafty. Exactly. Yeah. Like high IQ type of guy. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but let's see what he got. I don't know. I, I don't want to make any judgments, good or bad. I can't predict. I could tell you what he looks like from the little bit of film I saw. He looks um, good. The film looks nice. He looked, good. he looked pretty good. But, you know, I take that into consideration. You're not going to show him bad highlights, you know. So I, I look pretty good. Um, mm. 
He looks like he could play a little deeper. That six three is a little undersized. Exactly. So let's see what he got. We'll, we'll see. Because Prigioni was only what six three, right? Yeah, Prigioni was a six three, but he was just crafty. He was yeah, just really and I crafty. Think this kid might have the same game. So let's see what happens, man. I mean, you know what? It can't hurt. It's not going to kill us. We give up no draft picks for him. You know, it's just cash. So and he's got plenty of that. <laughs> I feel you. I, so I, let's see what we got. I'm just curious why they were rushing to get him here because he he's, he's not going to play. He's not going to play in the playoffs. No, JLs though. Supposing he is like the second coming of Man you know, Ginobili at the point guard. Did they just want him here for the summer to get him like as soon as thing is over, just have him like, you know, just hit the ground running. I mean, yeah, that's I'm just what saying, it is. Suppose you know? he's the second coming of Man Ginobili from the point guard spot. We don't need to talk about point guards then. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. I mean, if he's that good, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, he's he's a. According to my post, he's a tough, hard nose. He's tough and hard nose. One NBA scout said of the Vidoza, of the Vidoza, he's an excellent passer, shooter, and was consistent in back Basconia. You know who that sounds like to me? Basconia. Tough, hard nose, consistent, high IQ. That sounds like the Miami point guard when he was in his prime. The What's Miami. That guy? Yeah, who's the my the guy from uh, the guy? Uh, what's the guy? He's a European guy, lefty. The European, um, the guy in here now, the guy, yeah. um, yeah. Dragic. Dragic. He's yeah. Like, he's not like a Goran Dragic. That's Goran Dragic. Consistent, yeah. high IQ, tough. Sound like Goran Dragic. Okay. Uh, he's averaging 10 points in the Spanish league, shooting 37% from mm -hmm. three point mm -hmm. range. Okay. Europeans reported. Mm hmm. All right. So, and he's nearly no, done the negotiating a, buy, a buyout. With Basconoia. Let's see what the kid got, man. Let's just see what the kid got. Mm -hmm. If he can play, we'll find out. If he can play, it'll come through. Yeah, if he can play, it'll come through. People, I, you know, people are getting hyped on Instagram, like, oh, he's coming, he's coming this year to the Brace Elf. That's that's not happening. Nobody, no, nobody no. we sign right now is playing in the playoffs or anything. No, he, that's, that's not happening. He's just, no, he's not gonna play. He's not gonna play. But but um, you know, if it give him a training camp, I'm looking at his stats 88% from the line, 37% from three. He played 22 and a half minutes a game. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, and he in, in 22 and a half minutes, he averaged 10 points. So he's not a big shooter, not a big scorer, but he seems like a solid guy. So let's see. That's let's what see. we need at the point guard. We don't really need scoring per se. We just need a no. guy who can hit shots, run pick and roll. Yeah. And take over in spots. That's what we need from point guard. That's it. We don't That's need it. we don't need what's Russ Westbrook at point guard. We don't need Alfred Payton. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> One last shot out the door, man. Oh man. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, man. Yo, yo so, had you had to, you had to do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was really, yo, I was really trying to give Elf, Elf his props today too. Man. No, Elf, I man, I, you know I don't hate Elf. I just I hate know. him starting point guard for. I feel you. I feel you. Yo, so, yo, salute, yo, salute to the chat. We got a new super chat in. So shout, like I said, shout out to the super chat. It helps build the channel. 